Hi, my name is Frank Thomas. We have now reached the end of our journey on the Pacific Studies MOOC. I am currently standing in front of the Molikilangi Bure here on our beautiful campus at USP Laufala. We are pleased to say that in this MOOC we had over 800 participants from all over the world. Of course, we had our local and regional students, but also participants from Australia, New Zealand, the US, Canada, several European countries, and several countries in Asia. We were delighted by the quality of the online exchanges on the forums. Many participants have availed themselves on our learning resources, notably the readings and the videos. They have critically reviewed them and we do very much appreciate your feedback and also the feedback on the lectures themselves. It is our pleasure to say that many of you have completed the course already by successfully completing the quizzes. The MOOC comprises five modules which are summarized as follows. In module one, which serve as an introduction to Pacific Studies, several participants appreciated the need to further develop the discipline as a means to empower indigenous communities throughout the region. For those scholars, consultants, diplomats, and prospective students from outside the region, we hope that you have gained a deeper appreciation for indigenous voices, experiences, and research methodologies. Module two highlighted the cultural biases in representing the other from early European accounts to more recent media descriptions. Indeed, much of what we know about the Pacific Island cultures, societies, and issues generally, through writings and other media, is still largely dominated by outsider perspectives. Module three focused on mobility and its links with the complex issue of layered identities, as well as globalization and its effects environmental and social, on the region. While mobility and globalization are often depicted in a negative light, we also noted that Pacific Islanders are not passive bystanders or helpless victims of environmental disasters, including, but not limited to, climate change. Pacific Islands do seize opportunities presented to them by expanding their horizons. Like other communities around the world, they also face new challenges. However, like their ancestors who journeyed across the ocean to settle the islands of near and remote Oceania, their spirits remain undaunted as they seek a balance between their sense of place and connectedness to a widening universe. Module four discussed Pacific heritage arts as important epistemological sites and their transformations in a globalized world, while Pacific art was seen to constitute an integral component of Pacific societies. Module five, which covered indigenous epistemology and a post-colonial critique of Western-based or metrocentrist knowledge, argued for a greater appreciation of the diversity of thoughts in the Pacific, how knowledge is constructed and how it can be applied to serve the needs of Pacific communities, including sustainable development. Pacific Studies at USP is very well positioned, as we are part of the Oceania Center for Arts, Culture, and Pacific Studies, founded by the late Professor Epeli Hawofa back in 1997. We offer programs in the visual arts, as well as dancing and singing, and provide lessons in those fields. We offer the following postgraduate courses, as well as supervision at the master's and PhD level. For more information about our postgraduate courses, as well as other activities at the Oceania Center for Arts, Culture, and Pacific Studies, please visit our website. We would like to thank you all, participants, for taking this MOOC in Pacific Studies. We are also very grateful to our sponsors, the University of the South Pacific, as well as the Faculty of Arts, Law, and Education. And of course, our hardworking team who put together this MOOC. We hope that we have stimulated your curiosity in learning more about this important field of studies 
that is Pacific Studies. I leave you now with some beautiful images of our campus and of the Oceania Center. Thank you very much.